Good day. Welcome to Endurance Room. Hope you guys are all doing good. I'm out doing some hiking up in the mountains. It's a nice cold winter day. Beautiful day to be outside. But I've got a really interesting piece of gear for us to check out today from Russian Cold Camo. This is the Russian military's mountain tent hammock. I haven't seen this anywhere else but Russian Cold Camo. I'll leave a link down below so you guys can check it out. Typically when I'm camping, I like to camp on the ground in a tent under a tarp next to my fire. That's my first choice, but that's not always the best choice considering certain weather conditions or certain environment conditions. Like today, I'm up in the hills and it's really, really rocky and finding a place to set up a tent, let alone get your tent stakes driven into the ground, it can be quite a task. But it's also winter, you know, it's getting cold and winter camping with a hammock typically means you're camping under your tarp in a hammock with an under quilt, an over quilt, your sleeping bag, a sleeping pad, you know, it can be a lot of gear. So with that in mind, a piece of gear like this mountain tent hammock makes a lot of sense. It's designed for adverse weather conditions and harsh environments. It's built like a tank and it's designed to protect you in suboptimal weather. So let's pop it off and take a look at it. The hammock comes in this nice heavy duty nylon stuff sack. You've got support poles for the end of the hammock. And the hammock itself. It comes with cordage already linked up to it. Here's the underside of the hammock. This should show you how heavy duty this thing is. It's got multiple straps of thick heavy duty nylon webbing. Each strap is triple stitched in. There's handles that extend off the sides. I imagine the handles are there so it could be used as a stretcher if needed. The webbing runs to the end of the hammock and then it loops over and you use these loops to secure the poles to support the end of the hammock. The hammock is tied off on either end with a heavy duty nylon braided cord. We've got it wrapped around the tree that runs down to a carabiner and then a series of cords that lash off to the end of the hammock. You can see the poles here to keep the shape of the bed. And then the tent itself is secured off with two additional cords, one down to the carabiner and then the main ridge line of the tent runs up to your tree. So you've got two lines on either side of the shelter securing the hammock tent. There's one main door to the hammock. It's on the right side if you're laying down inside. There's a heavy flap over the top of it protecting the zipper. Just opens up to gain access to the hammock. There's a bug net on the door, so you can ventilate the tent in warmer weather. And then a heavy rubberized panel on the inside of the door that you can zip open. Here's a look at the inside. There's zippered windows at the head and to the left side, so you can see what's going on out in the world. You got mesh pockets to stash your gear. More nylon webbing to clip your stuff in. And then at the foot and the head, you've got a pouch here to secure your sleeping pad. I've got my climate pad. Let me put that in there so we can see what that looks like. This is a full length climate sleeping pad and it was a perfect fit. End to end. It's warm. 
warm. It's too warm for my Gorka inside of here. Very interesting. This is really cool, guys. I'm all stretched out. My back is pretty flat. I've done a good bit of hammock camping in the past, and typically my issue has been how much it bows my body. It's just not very comfortable for me, especially laying on my back. But right now I'm on my back, and yeah, I'm nice and comfortable. What usually happens for me is I'll get pressure at my heels, and it ends up hurting my knees like throughout the night. So I end up sleeping on my side, but I'm not experiencing any of that right now. I don't know if it's the combination of the hammock in my sleeping pad or just the nylon webbing or just the overall design, but this is this is really nice. It's definitely a big step up from any of the hammocks I've used in the past. And it's ideally suited for winter. It's just really, really warm. I would say this is a combination of tent, bivy, and hammock. So you're getting the benefits of all three of those systems. You're getting the protection of a tent, the enclosed space of a bivy that's gonna keep your radiant body heat inside, and then the comfort and maneuverability of a hammock. So if you're up in the mountains, like I am today, you know, you're able to set up your shelter and stay warm, stay dry, and be comfortable. Awesome. This is really nice, guys. I'm able to sit up inside of it. I've got my back against the wall. My feet are on the ground. And I'm just rocking, chilling. It's really, really nice. So how much does it weigh? About eight pounds. Now, you may think that's a little much for your typical hammock setup. It is, but this is a hammock tent designed for winter. And when you consider that and consider the fact that you don't need to run a, a tarp with it. You don't need an under quilt. You don't need an over quilt. It kind of works out. And it's built like a tank. Totally awesome. I expect to get many years of service out of this. Phenomenal. If you guys are interested in checking out a Russian tent hammock for yourself, hit up Russian Cold Camo. That's where I got my Winter Gorka, my Ratnik Shelter, and this tent hammock. And they've been an awesome company to work with. It's a small family owned company out in the Midwest. They ship fast. They've got an amazing warranty. They want to make sure you're happy. Can't recommend them highly enough. So thank you guys for watching. If you got any questions, just leave them down below. Hope you guys are all doing good wherever you're at. I'll see you in the woods. Cheers.